なんてんせい Yeah. Now welcome back to another episode of my series learning PvP. In this video, we got something that's actually very useful, will actually take your whole PvP game to another level as it can just give you lots of free combos used effectively. We're going to be covering tap attack cancels, that's basically when you're in close range and you try to punch the enemy, there's a way to actually cancel it out so you don't actually have to stick to the animation because you know that usually when you press that and you're tapping the screen you're stuck in the animation for a while and that's pretty annoying so before i get into this video press the subscribe button because this series i'm actually trying to help a lot of people i feel like it's something very useful having the hand cam on the side so you can see what i'm doing as you actually hear what i have to say while learning basically so make sure you press subscribe button show me some support but yeah furthermore into the video before i actually get into the video what i'm gonna do right here i'm gonna rank this in terms of difficulty in terms of how hard it is so we're gonna use the legends ranking system as per usual so in legends obviously it has scream hard and then normal now for this tap attack cancel I would say it's about hard, I wouldn't put it at normal, I feel like that's too easy. It does require a decent bit of timing, so it's not just something that you can do easily. And considering a person's normal movement, they wouldn't just tap once, especially from what the game teaches you. You probably tap the screen a couple times so you can actually get it off. So you have to kind of adapt. So I wouldn't put it at scream either because it's not the most difficult thing, but I would say it's hard. So we're going to go hard for this one. Now before I go further into the video, I'm just going to explain how the video is going to go. So, I'm going to explain the instructions later on on how to do this properly. But before I do that, I'm going to show you it in action. So I'm going to show you it at normal speed, then I'm going to slow it down for you. Then I'm going to give you more of an explanation and what's good about it, what's bad about it. But for now, let's just get into the, the visual representation. Now that you've seen it in normal speed and slow motion, let's get into the instructions. Now, you don't have to do this after a combo. I know in my um, video, my clips, they're during a combo, but it doesn't have to be. You can literally just move close to the opponent and then tap the screen once. But it's literally dependent on the fact that the opponent would do a, a vanish step or try to sidestep one of your cards. So if you just tap the screen once when you're close to them, Obviously in your combo you got to delay it if you want to let it go and then from there you can literally sidestep and do any other card. It will basically allow you to exit the animation of you punching but if you tapped more than once it will keep you in that animation and then you would have to finish off the whole punching move and then that's how you find yourself stuck. But you saw with um, my clips I only tapped the screen once and it allowed me to break out of the animation. Now this is the part where I talk about negatives and positives, advantages and disadvantages of using this technique but I start with the negatives because you want to end on a positive note but to keep it real with you, there's no real negatives using this technique the only thing I could say is if you're not used to it you might tap the screen more than once and it will keep you in that animation and that could actually give the opponent a free combo so that's something that you don't want but besides from that there's actually no negatives so I'm just going to get into the positives now for the positives it's basically everything that you want for one you don't use any cards and you don't use any key 
so you're not sacrificing anything by doing this secondly you make the opponent lose their vanish step so that's always a plus for you because they can't move so they'll probably have to switch out or get hit by you to restore that or just move a lot and then for a third one I would say that you just be giving yourself a free combo like I don't know why you wouldn't want that and you also tend to fake out the opponent because when people usually tap they tend to believe that oh you're in that animation so you're going to be stuck most players are not able to pull this off or don't think to pull this off so you would definitely land yourself a free combo but you saw in that clip the person didn't attack me straight away that's because it's the same game so the person saw me do it and I tried to do it to them again just for the sake of the video but yeah that's pretty much it that's the three advantages for if you want to count the key and the card one separately but yeah that pretty much wraps up this tutorial I don't have anything else to say that's all it is to basically do this tap attack cancel it's very useful and once you start utilizing it it can literally save you in a match so hopefully if you didn't know about that you start using it because trust me you'll be looking like a very skilled player in the field but besides from that I'm wrapping up the video so if you haven't already again press the subscribe button you're definitely gonna want to be here because we're only going straight up like I don't know why you don't want to subscribe if you haven't press the button like you want to be here trust me but um, I'm not too fussed about likes but definitely comment I like feedback I like interacting with you guys I want to know what you guys felt about the video if it was good if it was bad I reply to all comments if you want me to do a specific video as well I'll definitely respond to you and do it do a video on it if it requires one or definitely just re um, reply at bare minimum but yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video I don't have anything else to say but besides from that I'll see you guys in the next one